Hi there, my name is Gleb Alexandro and welcome back to Game Location Texture and Series. Today we're gonna talk about texture projection. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up cameras, paint the texture and we're gonna project it back onto the geometry in Blender. As you see here, it will be a big continuous texture, but first we need to set up the cameras. So let's go ahead and create a camera which will face the biggest flat surface in our scene is the wall with the door. Then hit Ctrl and 0 on the numpad to make it an active camera and render out the image. And the next step is to find the textures that we're gonna use for texture painting. And I strongly encourage you to organize it into folders, like walls, grunge maps, uh, metal textures and so on. Uh, that way we can just pull out the textures when we want it uh, and let our creativity flow. So we can just go to the site like cgtextures.com and download some textures, but also we can use something like Image After, the site with the free textures, or just use a Creative Commons search. It's a rather cool search system that helps us to find the free textures that we can use even for commercial purposes. So search for metal textures and we are good to go. After we set up the cameras and found the textures, the next step is gonna be paint the texture in the image editor. And now we can just pretend that we're making a matte painting or something like that, because the main principles are the same. Basically what we're doing here is we just overlaying the bunch of textures on top of the render. Uh, the tricky thing here is to paint over the surfaces which will face the camera. And for that reason I'm not touching the floor or the ceiling. Because if we project the texture from this angle, it's gonna be very stretched. What I find interesting is that we've sort of baked out the lighting in the scene, because we are composing the textures on top of the lit geometry. And you may or may not want to have this effect in your scene. But let's go ahead and project the texture that we have just painted. Return to Blender, open this texture in the image editor, then go to texture painting mode, then we'll pick 40 degrees as the camera projection angle, that's because we want our projection to affect only the polygons which face the camera. Then I'm gonna hit apply camera image pattern, select the texture that we've painted, and basically that's it. We have just projected the texture back onto the geometry. And as you see, only the polygons which face the camera are affected. And also which aren't occluded by the other geometry. Alright, we've finished this step and the result so far looks very nice actually, but what we need to do now is to take another camera and repeat this step. And that means that we'll render out the image from the second camera, return to image editor and continue painting the texture. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna overlay the texture onto the spots which weren't affected by the previous projection. After that let's just disable the actual render and to export the image with the transparency. And as you've probably guessed, the transparent parts will not be projected, so let's pick the texture and apply it. Oh, and don't forget to set up the angle for the normals. Okay, after doing these steps we should get something like that. And I can't wait to see it in the game engine. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, my name is Gleb Alexandro and in the next part we're gonna talk about how to refine this texture.